Hello Team Leo, it's Empire333 here. Welcome back to my channel. So Leo, this is your love tarot reading. I hope you're all well and safe. And yeah, let's get into it. So Leo, we're going to go into your energy, person's energy, any feelings we're picking up, any intuitive messages, and spiritual advice, okay? Um, this will not have an extended. If you're interested in the personal, the information is down below in the description box okay so let's get into it all right spirit what energies is leo in how's leo feeling at this time Oh, you're up in your head. What's going on, Leo? Okay, I some of you feel rejected by someone. Okay, um, Spirit is saying right now you're you're in the process of healing, Leo. Okay, so this is about emotional healing, and at this time, Spirit is saying here it's like you were not rejected. You were, what does that say? You are not rejected. You are not rejected. You were redirected, Leo. <laughs> okay, so I feel like some of you feel like separated from the love of your life or you thought this person was the love of your life, right? <coughs> Leo, this is what I want to say. If somebody was resistant towards you, um, you can't beg someone to love you, okay? Okay. Um, and it doesn't mean that the person didn't love you. It's just like you can't beg someone to love you the way you want to be loved, okay? That's really coming out very strong and clear. Some of you, I feel that you got this like wake-up call around your birthday that someone like maybe didn't they didn't buy you a gift or you expected flowers from them, whatever, and they didn't do it. This person is very resistant towards loving you, okay? For whatever reason, okay? Like, this is a general reading, so we can't get into that. But if you keep get going up in your head, like, why are they treating me like this? Why, why, why? And Leo, um, Spirit is saying here, like, try to think about it emotionally, okay? And what this means about you. If someone's rejecting you, if someone's treating you like crap, someone's not valuing you, okay? Um you need to pull back, okay? Is what spirit is saying. You need a break. You need a break from a lot of people at this time is what I'm hearing. Leo, okay? Because they want you to take care of yourself. This is the Queen of Cups. They want you Leo, um, spirit wants you to take care of yourself. And they're also saying patience. Okay, so some of you, um, some of you met someone new, okay? I'm glad I'm not doing extended because I feel like there's two groups. Some of you already met somebody new and you want to rush things, okay? So spirit wants you to take your time, Leo, and pay attention to um, your feelings. What are your feelings telling you, okay, about whoever? Whether it be new person, old person you're thinking about, whatever. Or you're, you're analyzing an old connection, why this person was resisting me, okay? So this is about self-work is what I'm getting, okay? You working on yourself, you noticing your patterns, right? Your emotional patterns, Leo. And um, I was getting something else. God, spirit is talking so fast with, with this reading. Um... Not chasing someone. Not chasing, okay? <clears throat> now, guys, not everybody's going to resonate with that, but...
Um, and they're also saying if someone's not making the moves you want, okay, the moves you want, the moves you think you deserve, um, you can't, uh, what is it called? You can't beat a dead horse. I know, I don't like that saying because it involves animals, but you know what I mean, okay? So let's see about your person. Let's see who's coming up in your field. Okay. Oh my God. You know, I swear I saw that in my mind space. King of Pentacles. Okay. Wow. All right. Okay. If you have not met this person yet, Leo, you will meet them. Okay. That's what Spirit just said. So there is someone here, Leo, that has, like, they ha they know how to take care of themselves, they are responsible, that kind of stuff. But you're wondering why this person is not, like, offering you what they've offered themselves. It's kind of like, this person here seems serious, so you're like, wow, they're well established, they're this and that, but why aren't they giving me or offering me more? Okay, so I feel like the passion came before like anything else because there is the Ace of Wands here. You're trying to figure out this person right now. Okay, so this person could be like even like a hustler, right? Like they're a business person. They're, you know, they're abundant financially. They're responsible. They could be like, um, like a CEO of a company, a president of a company, or they have a good title, Okay, and so forth. But what I'm seeing here, I just saw an orb, you guys. That's why I sorry I got distracted. But this what this is someone who you're trying to figure out, like, okay, are they is this a person that's gonna settle down? Or are they just like the free spirit, like a fool, right? Is this a person that can be set in one place? This person might also be the type that travels a lot for work, okay. Or they might have to move for work. Like, there's all these things going through your mind. What I feel like this person is very attracted to you, Leo, okay? So this is a timeless reading, guys. If you haven't met this person yet, you will meet them. But this this person, I feel, they do feel like a soulmate to you. They are uh, generous, I'm, I'm hearing, okay? But I'm going to see what this is because I feel like this person... <clears throat> As kind as they are, you feel like they are, um, what's the word for it? Like they're too grounded. Leo, Leo's used to the highs and the lows and the crazy rushes of adrenaline, right, Leo? Is that what you're used to? So this is what I want to say. A lot of people have, um, like patterns they keep repeating in their partnerships like for example you always attract those kind of people that are like in and out of your life and the, it's like very high and very low and like you get that rush and it's like you know you know that ends up in trouble right for you leo um and so i feel like this person's more grounded so you're actually questioning like is this person for real? Are they the type that settles down? Are they um, the type that, you know, messes around? Like, there's all these things going through your head, okay? Um, but at the same time, I feel that a lot of you, um, you're just questioning if this is your person. And that's not what spirit wants you to do. Spirit wants you, yeah, you're questioning, like, is this person going to be toxic? Are they going to be unhealthy for me? You know, there's all these things going through your mind, okay? The spirit is saying here, it's like, that's why you get to know the person, right? I feel like a lot of you in the past, what I'm hearing here is that you didn't get to know the person. You just jumped, right, into it. So I think we've got this about for you before, Leo. So like, it's like kind of like, oh, they're cute, you know, let me make them my, you know, whatever home buddy or whatever it is right so let's see 
Spirit, what do you want to tell us about this person? How do they feel? Okay, let's see this. How do they feel towards Leo? This wanted to come out. Knight of Wands. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. All right. Oh, I get what it is. Okay. So this is what I want to tell you all. This person has two different sides to them. That's what's confusing you. It's like they're that person that, you know, has like possibly a good job or they, you know, they're, they're, they seem responsible, <clears throat> but at the same time, they know how to have fun. They're passionate. And you might feel like this person is going to like elude you, right? They, they are adventurous, you know. I feel like this person travels a lot. Let me know in the comments, Leo. They're like in a different city all the time. They could also be a truck driver. Okay, some of them, I just heard truck driver. Okay, like transportation. Um, this person, I feel they're just being logical about this connection. Okay. Yeah. This is interesting. So we got the Queen of Cups again. So Leo, this is what I want to say. This person <coughs> sees you as a caring individual, but I feel like they might be holding back, okay, at this time. Spirit, why are they holding back? Hold on, guys. Okay. So this person has abandonment issues. Whoever this person is, um, they've got abandonment issues. So I feel like this person is just taking it easy at this time. I feel like they're just giving you a small glimpse of who they are and their feelings towards you. Um, <clears throat> and they're, they want to be uh, confident and strong because I do see in the past that this person... Um, they were in another connection and they were um, left out in the cold or they were abandoned, Leo. So this person is taking it easy, okay? And that's okay. Spirit is saying that's okay, okay? So let's see this person's feelings towards you, okay? I'm going to pick a feeling. Spirit, how does this person feel for Leo? Okay, you're in my heart. So this person, I feel, even if you both are not seeing each other, you're still in their heart. It's kind of like the distance between you two doesn't matter, but it matters to you, Leo. And so um, what is the advice? I'm going to pull some advice for you, actually, Leo. What is spirit? What is Leo's advice for this? Ace of Swords and Two of Coins. Okay, so this is what Spirit is saying here. Um, Leo, from the get-go, okay, anytime soon, um, you need to communicate to this person that what it is that you want, okay? Because I feel like a lot of you are scared to repeat a cycle, and if you're not <clears throat> you shouldn't repeat the cycle that you did with the past person, okay? That's what Spirit's saying. They want you to be balanced in this connection. Yeah, because you, this is how you're thinking now, Leo. You're thinking like, listen, <clears throat> are we going to be friends again? Because some of you might have done that in the past. Like you might have had a special friend. You didn't have the stability. You didn't have, look at this diamond right here, right? So you didn't have maybe anything official with the person in the past. This is the four of wands, stability. They're reminding you like, Leo, if you're going to be in another one of these special friend connections, you know, 
Like, we, we want to remind you that you're better off on your own. Okay? You're better off on your own, nine of coins, okay? And also, it's like, remember how that person made you feel. We want you to be confident to ask for what you want, okay? So let me pull some crystal angels card. That was your advice, Leo. So you need to communicate to this person what it is you're looking for, Leo. And don't be scared about it. Ask for it confidently. You know, spirit always says, because I'm not the kind of person who asks for things and they said no. Always ask for things and ask confidently. Because I know. I'm that type of person like I'll do everything on my own. I don't need to ask, you know, that kind of stuff. So Spirit, what is your message for Leo with these Crystal Angels deck? Okay. Forgiveness heals and revealing your true self. So a lot of you might have, you know, some type of healing you need from the past, which I said, which was the Four of Swords, okay? But this is about revealing your true self, Leo. So this is about you not being manipulated or um, sacrificing what you want for someone else being like, okay, let's just be special friends. You know what I mean? Like no more special friends, Leo. Okay, you, you need to stop that pattern. And I know this sounds like tough love, but that's the way spirit wants you to have it. Okay, because they're like, no, no, no more special friends. It's okay if you're friends with someone in the beginning Okay, and then things develop, that's okay. But if you get stuck in the friend zone, but at the same time, you know, there's benefits while you're being not honest with yourself, okay, that you really want this. You want the four of wands. You want that, you know, domestic partnership or you want that marriage, whatever it is, to you. What does he want? What do you want that's stable, right? Let yourself feel all your emotions, okay? So you're clearing out a lot of um, negative patterns you repeated in the past, Leo, okay? So make sure that you, you say no to special friends, okay? But the way you say no is that you communicate. You're clear to this person or whoever you meet that what you want is the four of wands energy, Okay, you don't want the special friends anymore. Three of cups and this special friend could be also like, you know, what people call friends with benefits, whatever, man. I don't know what names that are coming out. Okay, left and right. I'm so tired of all these terms, but yes. Okay, so make sure you're not that Leo. Okay, so spirit wants you to also be spirit wants you to get what you want, Leo. Okay, they're just, you know, trying to guide you at this time. So, um, yeah. Okay, Leo, I hope that this helped you. If it has, don't forget to like and let me know how you resonate with it in the comment section. I wish you all the best, Leo. Peace out.